In this video, I'm going to show you guys three awesome texture packs you can use in Minecraft 1.13 right now. Whenever a new update comes out, all old texture packs no longer work. There are new textured items that need to be done, and these are three of the awesomest texture packs you can play in the aquatic update. Here is a wall of the most common blocks that players would probably want to see, so these are going to be our texture blocks that we're going to be testing out in each new pack. First up, we have the Block Pixel Texture Pack made by Jacob.Z, and this pack is actually awesome. It is called Block Pixel because it has a pixel art style. You can see it has this sort of cartoony look to it, which actually I really enjoy. It looks crazy. It takes a little bit of getting used to. I mean, this is the oak wood right here, and it has way more texturing than your regular oak tree. And it even has different textures depending on where you place it down. That almost looks like a smiley face or something. I'm not quite sure what's going on with that. What I love about texture packs is it takes what used to be ugly blocks, in my opinion, and makes them usable. Right here you have the granite and the diorite blocks that I would normally never use in a build because granite is pretty freaking hideous. But now this makes it look kind of decent, actually. These blocks look epic. This is like a turquoise looking block. I like it. These are obviously the blocks you would get from the underwater temples. If you have a guardian farm, that would be pretty freaking sweet. This texture pack is almost 100% complete. I believe there are only a small amount of items that need to be textured or redone. So it's basically 100% ready to go. I believe it's like one or two items that still need to be made, but I thought I'd show you guys some cool things about this. This is a 3D model type texture pack. You can see that it actually looks 3D for certain items. That's a jungle sapling. That's a dark oak sapling. There is a flower. And then check this bad boy out. We got the cactus. I mean, this looks wild, dude. I love it when texture packs go the extra mile and bring us these 3D textures. It makes the whole thing look super, super dope. This is an unusual sword. It's quite a long looking sword, but I kind of like it. And we should go for the underwater view since this is the aquatic update after all. This is what I'm talking about. The coral blocks look super unique, but still follows the theme of the rest of the blocks. I'm seeing a lot of these kind of square type textures, and I personally really like it. Before we move on to the next texture pack, I thought I'd show you guys this last thing, which is that there are some cool animated textures in this pack as well. This is the gold ore and the diamond ore, so if you're having trouble mining, if you see a little bit of sparkles, that would be kind of cool. You'd be able to find diamonds and gold easier. It's almost like it would be what you'd find in a real mine or cave. Some of the diamonds would kind of have a bit of a sparkle to them. So overall, guys, I actually really like this texture pack. It's super unique, super special, animated textures, 3D models, really cool stuff. Make sure to go check this out in the description if you want to get the download. This next texture pack is for those of you guys who really like the original default feel. You might be thinking we're actually in default Minecraft, but this is called the Better Vanilla Texture Pack. If you compare them side by side, you'll definitely be able to tell the difference. This texture pack is much more vibrant, colorful, and just overall a prettier look than original Minecraft. You can really tell in the grass and the leaves and uh, the color of the water and the sky. I won't cover this one too much because it is a very slight change, but you will absolutely notice it, especially if you have played in the default for several hundred hours. You will love this because it's way more lively. Also, one really cool thing is that there are a bunch of new sounds in this texture pack. It's something that uh, I noticed is like if you walk over stone blocks, there's sound that is different from the original game. If you are getting really tired of the default version of Minecraft, but you don't want to go too crazy with the wildness, definitely download this texture pack. All of the cool new sounds, new colors, and just the slight variations of things are going to be really uh, a nice mix-up. Oh, okay. I see how it is. Just acting like I'm not even here. That's chill, dude. That's chill. 
Yeah, you do your own thing, dude. I don't even want to hang out with you anyway. I'm just chilling over here. We're going to finish things off with my favorite of the three. This texture pack is absolutely beautiful. It's so gorgeous. It's really like a hand-drawn cartoon realism style. This is called the Anastas Bistrinia or something like that. Go check this creator out in the description. They have a video and they've got, I think, a website as well. This texture pack blew me away as soon as I downloaded it. These like soft kind of pastel colors are absolutely incredible to walk around in. You've got different colors of leaves for the pink and other colors. You've got these little apples here in the tree. The person who made this texture pack really did put so much detail into it and thought of all kinds of ways to make this one of the most unique texture packs I've literally ever played on. Every single block in here had so much detail put into it. I could talk about this one for hours. It's just the most incredible thing and it's completely 100% ready for you guys to play in the aquatic update. Over here, I put some really awesome items in a chest just to show you guys how much work must have gone into this. All of these items are incredible and the different textures you can do is pretty insane. Like right here, you guys can see this is magenta stained glass, but it's got a different type of stain for each color of glass. That's magenta. And if I go over to the other colors, cyan is wildly different as well. So it's not just a different color, it's like a different type. For those of you who like to do lots of building, this is gonna make a huge difference. And then let's check out like weapons and axes and things. This is the diamond axe, which looks fantastic. You've got this crazy looking fishing rod. I mean, the armor is all amazing. Everything is so cool looking that you can spend hours in this game and it'll feel like a completely new game. Texture packs like these go the extra mile to make sure when you play on a texture pack that it feels like you've got a brand new version of Minecraft. All of the mobs are different looking. All of the items have a same like theme to them. And if you get excited about kind of new styles of items, look at this. You've got this freaking pizza, which is actually cooked mutton. But I mean, dude, we're eating pepperoni pizza tonight. I mentioned this earlier, but texture packs can do the incredible by turning blocks that are usually pretty ugly into usable blocks. Gravel is by far my most hated block in the game. And this gravel looks quite nice. I mean, I could actually probably use this gravel for something. So this pack is awesome since I can't find any block in here that I would not even, I mean, like, look at this, guys. Even the sponge is kind of cool looking. I mean, what the heck, man? You don't even, you don't see many sponges that look pretty good, but I would definitely urge you guys to test this pack out. Download it, give it a shot, and see what it's like, because there is so many things in this, I can't even cover it all. If you guys want to download these texture packs and play them in your own aquatic update worlds, be sure to check out the description where I have a link to the downloads, the creators page, and all the information you need to know. And of course, if you want to see more videos on the aquatic update, be sure to check out our channel. We have some tutorials, how-tos, guides, and designs for you guys to check out. With that being said, thank you so much for watching this video. I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.